Hello and welcome back guys and girls, this is the Prussian Prince back with more StarCraft 2 Heart of the Swarm replays. This is a replay cast, and uh, it's going to be a TVZ on Whirlwind, I'm obviously the Terran, spawning in the top uh, left corner of the map, as the blue Terran, and in the bottom left corner of the map we have my opponent, Igarash from Team AHBF, he's the Zerg player. I'm just gonna be oh sorry for the noises in the background by the way. So I'm just gonna be skipping things a little bit. He's getting an overlord, obviously this is pretty standard. A few more drones. He's gonna go for a 14 hatch and probably pull would be next. 14 hatch, 14 pull, and then gas. When is he gonna be getting his overlord? Probably sometime now. Yes, he's getting his overlord at 16. I'm getting. I'm going CC first because that's pretty standard thing to do as Terran. And he's gonna be sending more overlords around. I'm gonna be put it on X4 still. Because I really don't have to show anything in the beginning. You can just see because of the production tab. See, I'm sending my CC down here, getting the factory done. Gonna skip those back. My Marine. I actually let this guy in. But it's not gonna feel too much. He is harassing this worker. He might get it, but I fought back and I killed it. But now, supply wise, we're pretty even, and as it should be at this point in the game. But I messed up and I didn't add supply depots on time. But now, I have quite a few SCVs. This is pretty good. For me, I'm in a pretty good spot. He's getting his third base, and he's got. Layer morphing in, another gas, he's gonna be on 4 gases soon, 6 gases soon probably, he's getting some banelings. Army supply is quite even, worker supply, I'm a little bit ahead. So technically I'm actually ahead in this game. And I actually went in with some helmets and I'm gonna do some damage. If you look at the units lost tab, I killed quite a bit already. Of workers killed. I have killed six workers. Wow, that's that's quite something. So now 54 SCVs to 51 drones. Now I, I'm ahead, but in terms of army supply, I'm very much behind. And this is when my new Raxes are gonna kick in and start producing a lot of stuff. Look at how how perfectly timed my armory almost is. <laughs> that's that's in the nick of time, but I'm not getting my upgrades. This is Pretty weird by me, pretty bad play actually. Now I'm getting them. Also getting uh, that upgrade. I'm gonna be mining from my third now. Still I have more SCVs than... Well I have the same amount of SCVs as he has drones. In terms of income... I have more income because of mules. Even though we have the same uh, amount of workers. Oh... There was some sort of attack here. But I managed to hang on and I'm gonna go back I think. Oh no, here comes the attack. Banelings and lings and everything. Now I send in some of those. I'm gonna put down the Wittemine, but he's gonna take it. If I actually got down the Wittemine, that would be good. And my units go 60 SCVs. Oh, down to 52 SCVs. That's pretty bad. So now, he got a really nice engagement over here. He could have actually taken out those other SCVs, but I'm gonna lift my third and get away. Should have probably just been there still. Army supply, now we're pretty even, but yeah, I'm gonna be getting more marines and marauders. Not getting medivacs though, so yeah, I am not doing that well in terms of macro. APM wise, I'm doing quite fine, but in terms of macro, not really. So I have a lot of APM, but I'm not using it too well right now. Let's see what am I doing. Oh. This is me, I'm not doing anything. What the hell am I doing? Oh, over here, I'm selecting my units. Oh, I had some issue, but yeah. In terms of uh, supply, we're almost e even, but my 2-2 is going to be finished much, be oh, much uh, before his 2-2. So that's be pretty big. So yeah. Now in terms of... Oh, hang on, I messed things up. Alright, so... He actually does, uh, wait, what am I even doing? I was just playing around with the interface. Anyway, in terms of supply, we have the same amount of workers. Well, he has one more drone, but 
Technically, I am in the lead in terms of economy, except he's getting a fourth base. That's going to be really helpful. But in terms of units, an army supply, I have 69 to 56. That's quite good for me. Also going to get a lot more units soon. Is he going to go in with the mutas? Probably. And I actually, I think I actually spotted those mutas with the scan earlier. I have my medivacs ready soon, but is he going to go in my third? He knows it's there, right? So he's going to go in and try and uh, snipe some stuff. The missile turret over here, but now, interestingly enough, I was moving out, so... Yeah, he's going to get a lot of kills down here, though. Down to 59 SVs. Actually, not as many kills as I, as I initially thought. But yeah, I should be getting down at least two more turrets down here, I think, to keep him busy. Now I have my Widow Mines over here. He does see them, though. But, yeah... I mean, I don't have my army here. That's pretty bad. I'm gonna get it, but I'm gonna get it a little bit too late. And oh, the widow mines, the widow mines, the widow mines. Oh, I don't get them down in time. And he's got, he's got four overseers. Oh my! <laughs> if one dies, there's three more. Don't worry. <laughs> now SCVs. I still have like 59. I'm getting more SCVs. Yeah, I have like eight workers that are not working. Oh, now they're working. Oh, fine. Finally, all right, unit stab. He's got more drones, so now he's actually got himself back into the game. But I still have more army supply than him, and I'm putting my widow mines down. I've got another factory done, and I'm getting, I'm gonna be getting drilling claws. Transformation servers, not really. <laughs> so, all right, I've got those widow mines here, and I'm gonna get more widow mines. I think I've got this widow mine defending me. It'd be cool if I had some widow mines here or here or something to kill his reinforcements and such. So now, I don't actually see his army just on the edge. I scan and I still don't see it. It's so close to me. But now I see it, I scan and I'm gonna... I'm actually gonna go for those, uh... Those creep tumors and now he's actually gonna go in. And I failed to micro my rings properly. I'm gonna use quite a few rings here, I think. But overall, oh, that was a nice hit from, uh... Me, and there's still quite a few banelings so now he's actually gonna do quite okay but his links are in front of his banelings so now I can I can actually split my wings well besides that that was pretty horrible so now he's actually ahead of me the economy and everything and I've lost so many SCVs here I'm down to 54 SCVs but army supply so actually I thought that would go well for me but that went terrible and now there are actually some investors I'm gonna get some nice fungos here, but I take down the investors. This is such a close battle. And in fact, he could have kept attacking me because I only had one uh, marine here, and then could have killed everything else. Could have sniped this orbital command, but oh my, it's this is so close. I still have my orbital over there. So the third base has got 11 workers. Fourth base, still some workers. But yeah, I'm still producing uh, units. He's also got a few more investors on the way. Yeah, those mutalisks. They are. Uh, he's getting uh, our attack upgrades for them, but he's still only on 2 2. I'm getting my 3 3. And you know what th that means? 3 3 Marines. 3 3 Bio against 3 3 Lair. You're in trouble. Even if you got Infestors. Infestors are really good, but are they really gonna work against 3 3 Bio? I don't think so. 3 3 Bio almost done. Is like 10 seconds left for this, 20 seconds left for that upgrade. This is gonna be. Once I hit it with this timing, he hasn't even started 3-3 yet. And his mutas have really bad upgrades compared to my bio, so he really needs some extremely good engagement to be able to win the game. Especially as I've got Widow Mines on the way. I'm even getting an extra upgrade just to make them tank more. I've still got all those Widow Mines over here. I'm scanning ahead, I see he's got links that he's sending around, but I'm like, okay, those links are fine over there. Now I've got those units here in the back. He's gonna actually send some links around to try and uh, take me out. And I actually, those guys don't actually attack, but here he comes. And he actually gets in. I try and raise these, but I cannot. But I'm gonna attack with my marines to get all those links. And there, then there's one link left. Here I'm gonna go ahead and I see. I get down my widow mines and I'm gonna swim back. But he gets a lot of my units. But. Wow, this is very laggy because he has 30. So yeah, I have a nice concave. This concave is so amazing for me. My upgrades are so good. And his mutalisks, they just get wiped out. He only has one mutalisk left. 
one mutilisk left. I've got 96 army supply to 44. There's a huge difference. And I stim again. I shouldn't have done the stim though. Not right here. That was an overextension. Here, my units are dying really quickly, but because I've got so many medivacs, it's still gonna go quite fine. 85 army supply. Look at this army supply going down, and I still have those marines and marauders. Uh, it seems like he's not okay with this, but I mean, he's got 2-2 two, two units, so what? I'm, he's got- his units are really weak. I've got 3-3 three, three and he's got 2-2, two, two, like, there's nothing. And on his middle, he's got 2 air attack and 0... 0, uh... 0 interface upgrade, so that's pretty much why he's in so much trouble. But he's gonna be getting- he's sending more drones over here. But if you look at the supply, it's actually pretty even. And here I actually don't lift my units, but look at what's up here. Pretty big army. I'm actually gonna rally it all the way over there and I'm losing some medivacs here sloppily. So this makes it much more even. But here come my medivacs out of there and I've got more units in here and it's like, how do I deal with this probably right now? <laughs> he says that this is just sad and he leaves and that's the game. That was a pretty epic PvZ, like I was in I was in such trouble, but my upgrades carried me and allowed me to want to win the game. That was really close. But anyway, hope you guys and girls enjoyed. And if you want to see more, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus. I will see you next time.